Good day to you. Today I want to give it a, an attempt um, to Power BI, um, the Microsoft's LinkedIn um, skill assessment for Power BI. So I've logged into my LinkedIn account and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to say take skill quiz. Okay. And under my school quiz, um, I, you just keep on having to go on to show more until you get to where it is. Otherwise, I suppose you could filter it, but I'm just going to do it the slightly long way. Um, so there, Microsoft Power BI. So let's go and see what is it. Microsoft Power BI Assessment. Admin, Concepts, Model, Visualize, Work with Data. So we want to get ready to start. We've got 385k people took this, 15 multiple choice questions, 1.5 minutes per question, score in the top 30 to earn a badge. Before you start, you must complete this assessment in one session. Make sure your internet is reliable. You can retake this assessment once if you, if you don't earn a badge. We won't show your results to anyone without your permission. Okay. Without further ado, let's get started. In general, you should not add DAX calculated columns to your data model if you are able to do what? Create the column and power query during data load, create a measure instead, all of these answers, have it added to the data source. I'm going to choose all of these answers, man. In general, what is the best way to shape your data for Power BI? Load all tables from the data source, include multiple objects in each data table, use a star schema, all of these answers. Use a star schema. Your report is based on imported data from Excel. What is a valid reason to use a slicer rather than a report level Filter. A slicer makes it easier for users to filter. Users should be able to see both filtered and non-filtered values. Query speed is critical. A and B. There is no reason to use a slicer rather than a report lever filter. A and C. B and C. I like, I like A and B. That's my choice. What does Power BI Desktop do when it cannot create a standard map visualization with the available data? It returns an error. It sends the data to Bing. It, con it substitutes a column chart. It sends the data to the Power BI service. It sends the data to Bing. When creating a new relationship between the continents and countries tables, this error is returned. One of the columns must have unique values. How can you fix this? Select all that apply. Add another table with unique key values. Remove duplicate rows so that the countries table has a column with unique IDs. Remove duplicate rows in the continents table that has a column with the unique IDs, correct the cardinality of the relationship. Sure. So definitely it sounds like D and A because add another. So yeah, but uh, then it would only leave these two, A, C and D. Okay. Your company's national maintenance team is divided into twelve regions and the issues reports and the issues report they use is filtered by the user's region. What report modification would help technicians while using the mobile app on the road? 
Add a geographic filter to city, add a geographic filter to state, add a geographic filter to street address, add a geographic filter to country. Sure. <laughs> I just got A, B, C, D. <laughs> I'm definitely going to choose A, B, C, D. Um, add a geographic filter to street address. I suppose... Can you really add a geographic filter to street address? Um, yeah, I just go for it. Which Q and A feature helps you ask questions and refine your visualization? Error dialogues, autocomplete tooltips. Which Q and A feature helps you ask questions and refine your visualization? Tooltips, autocomplete error dialogues. I would go with tooltips. Tooltips. What does the usage metric most consumed dashboards by users include? Select all that apply. The person who built the dashboard, other people who share the dashboard, users who consume the dashboard in a content pack, individual user downloads of the dashboard. Again, I'm going to go A, B, C, D. How can you allow users to filter an entire report to display information for the last week, last two weeks, or last month? All of these answers. Add a slicer for a date field to the report. Click the upper right corner and select relative. Add a date field to the page filter area. Set filtering to relative date filtering and click extend. Add a date field to the report filter area and set filtering to relative date filtering. What does the Power BI Advanced Editor allow you to do? Access the Advanced Editing Commands, view the M code created by the Power Query Editor, enter M code to shape your data, edit the M code created by the Power Query Editor. How do you want, how do you create a chart visual in Power BI Desktop Report View. Select all that apply. Click New Visual on the Home tab. Select the Chart Visualization in Visualizations pane. Click New Visual on the Data Tools tab. Select a field that contains values. ABC. <laughs> there isn't an option for ABC. Your data model includes a member's data table. Um, your data model includes a, a, mem a member's data table and 10 other tables, including these three lookup tables with unique IDs, city, state, and country. How can you improve your data model for Power BI? Combine city, state, and country into one lookup table. Move city, state, and country to the member's table. Combine city and state into the lookup table and remove the country table. Leave the model as it is. Hmm. Possibly A or C. You just deleted a dashboard in the Power BI service and want to get it back. What should you do? Recover it from the recycle bin. Press Ctrl Z. Select Undo from the toolbar. You cannot undo the deletion of a dashboard. Press Ctrl Z. You have two columns in numerical data and want to create a visual to help determine if there is a relationship between them. What kind of chart is designed to do this? You have two columns of numerical data and want to create a visual to help I would choose a line chart. When you use publish to web in the Power BI service, you can view your published content. Anywhere, anyone on the internet, everyone in your organization. I would go with everyone in your organization.
or in your environment. Everyone in your organization. Hmm. Let's go and see. What does it say about my results? Oh, great work. You earned a badge. You're in the top 30 of 386k. Hmm. Well done. Thank you, man. Thank you for watching. All the best. Goodbye.